On Sunday, the biggest and most powerful rocket ever built took to the skies again and this time it came back. SpaceX achieved a major milestone in its journey towards reusable space flight with the fifth Starship test flight. For the first time, the towering first stage, Super Heavy Booster, was returned to its Texas launch pad using giant mechanical arms, showcasing another engineering marvel from the company led by Elon Musk. The 400-foot tall Starship vehicle was launched for the fifth time ever, sending the giant rocket aloft from its Starbase site in South Texas at 8.25 AM ET. Now, after separating from the Starship, second stage at around 70 kilometers altitude, the Super Heavy booster initiated its return. Using three of its 33 Raptor engines, the booster slowed its descent, targeting the launch tower equipped with massive metal arms designed to catch the rocket. CEO Elon Musk took to social media announcing, and I quote, the tower has caught the rocket. This innovative recovery method is part of the company's mission to develop a fully reusable space vehicle capable of carrying both cargo and humans to the moon and Mars. SpaceX spokesperson there posted on X saying, Are you kidding me? Even in this day and age, what we just saw, that looked like magic. NASA's Bill Nelson posted on Platform X saying congratulations to SpaceX on its successful booster catch in fifth Starship flight test today. As we prepare to go back to the moon under, uh, in fact, Artemis, continued testing will prepare us for the bold missions that lie ahead, including to the South Pole region of the moon and then on to Mars. Although Starship landed upright in the ocean, it toppled over before ultimately exploding though it is unclear if it was a planned detonation or caused by a malfunction. Despite the explosion, Musk confirmed that Starship hit its target precisely. The test is part of a larger development program that includes extensive testing to refine and perfect SpaceX reusable launch system.